Hey everybody, this is an obituary for Grandizo Munis uh, from the journal Revolutionary History. Uh, the obituary is from 1989. Hey, where the hell did it go? Ah, shit. I don't know, I'm using a Chromebook and I'm not used to... Uh... I accidentally exited out of what I was reading. But here we are, we're back. Here, and we can now read the thing. We are sad to have to announce the death of Grandizo Munis on the 4th of February of this year, 1989. Manuel Fernandez Grandizo was born at Lorena in Estremadura, and joined the Spanish section of the international left opposition at its conference abroad in Liège in Belgium in February 1930, where Muniz supported Francisco Garcia Lavid in his disagreements with Andres Nin inside that organization. Muniz also supported Trotsky's policy of the entry of the Spanish section into the youth of the Socialist Party, which he joined in 1935, and opposed the liquidation of the Spanish Trotskyist into the party of Marxist unification, or the PUM. Muniz left Spain for a brief while to join his family in Cuba, returning on the first boat on hearing of the outbreak of the Spanish Civil War. On his arrival, he reconstituted the section of the left opposition as the Spanish Bolshevik Leninists, who published the first issue of their paper, La Vaz Leninista, on the 5th of April, 1937, after their exclusion from the party of Marxist unification, they took part with the Friends of Derudi in defense of the revolution against Stalinist provocation during the Barcelona May Days in 1937, but their small group of comrades was penetrated by a GPU spy, Leon Narvich, and after he had been killed by a Pum action squad, revenging the death of Nin, Muniz and his group were arrested on 12th of February, 1938. They were accused of ki killing Narvich and, a planning, and of planning the assassination of Prieto Comorera Negrin La Pasionara and Diaz. Or Diaz. After much torture, including a simulated execution of Muniz, their trial was fixed for the 29th of January, 1939. But three days before this, France's troops entered Barcelona, and with prisoners, oh, I think it's supposed to say Franco. Franco's troops entered Barcelona, and both prisoners and jailers made off. Muniz escaped to France and then managed to get out to Mexico, where Muniz led the Spanish Trotskyists in exile and was a close collaborator of Natalia Trotsky. During the Second World War, Muniz objected to the terms of the defense of the Socialist Workers' Party leaders during the Minneapolis trial in October 1941, which he regarded as making concessions to defensism and social patriotism. Together with Natalia Trotsky, Muniz also uh, I guess it's probably Muniz, denounced the SWP's support for the actions of the Red Army as it passed through Eastern Europe in 1944 to 1945, and later the support of the International Secretariat for Tito and Mao Zedong. Muniz's group left the post-war Fourth International, whose 1948 Second World Congress delegate elections they believed to be rigged, also having deepening political differences. In 1950, although a marked man, Muniz returned to Spain to take part in the Barcelona strike, was arrested by the Francoist authorities and given another term in prison. Muniz's group, the Fomento Obrero Revolucionario, developed ultra-leftist positions on the trade unions, and in 1975, Muniz published a state capitalist analysis of the Soviet Union, Parti Etat, 
Stalinismo Revolution, or Revolution. His account of the Spanish Civil War is to be found in Halones de Dorota, Promesa de Victoria, published in Mexico in 1947, and his differences with the Trotskyist movement after the Second World War in Les Revolucionaires de Vente de Russie. Oh, this one is the shit that said French. <laughs> Les Revolutionnaires devant la Russie et le Stalinisme Mondial, Mexico, 1947, and Analyse d'un vide, cinquante ans après le Trotskyisme. I don't know if I'm saying that. <laughs> Although his path diverged substantially from Trotskyism in his later life, Eunice was a courageous militant, a sincere supporter of the struggle of the working class, and a man of sturdy independence of mind. The end.